All right, this uh, video will walk you through the process of getting a Pix4D Cloud account and then uploading your images as well as the CSV file, setting the coordinate system, and beginning the processing of your data. So first of all, we're going to navigate to Pix4D Cloud. And again, you can just Google that, and you're going to go to the cloud period pix4d period dot com. I'm going to click on that. Now I'm logged in here, so I'm going to log out. We're going to get to kind of where you are. And so if you went here, what I'd like you to do is click on start a free trial. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to sign up. And for right now, I'm going to put in. I'm just going to do that, and my email for this one, again, I'm using sru-drone-2021c, that's my third account in these, as I'm doing these, at gmail.com, and again, I asked you to use the S, capital S, R-U-G-G-E-21 as your password, that'll allow me to have access to it. Yes, I agree with the terms. Yes, I agree with the policy. We're in the US, we're gonna click continue. Now, once we've done all this, I'm gonna say no to that on here, by the way, but um, I would like to be contacted. I'm gonna put in no for all of these. Um, this is fine. Um, and then I'm gonna click save. And you'll notice that it says email confirmation. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this account. And this is activate your PIX4D account. So I'm going to click on that. And now my account is active. And so now we're in a new account. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to create first a new folder. That's step one. And so again, I'd like you to use your last name and then lake and create. Okay, we now have our folder and I'm going to open the folder and I'm going to create a new site within that. And I'm again, Livingston Lake, create the site. And to that, what I want to do is add a data set. And again, where am I going to create it? Livingston Lake. And I'm going to upload images. And so here I'm going to select my images. And I'm going to use from my desktop, I have a folder called Lake Imagery. And what I've done is I've put them all in a single folder. That's kind of a useful way of doing this. And I'm going to select all of my images. Now, once they're all there, you're not going to see them all, but you're going to click Next. And the next thing we want to do again is we're going to select 3D maps. And you'll notice with 3D map, you're going to get, in other words, rec recommended flight, a nadir flight, oblique flight. And then we're going to get out these pieces of information. We're going to click Next. So again, notice that we have our Ortho Mosaic, our digital surface model, our point cloud, and our mesh. Click to click Next. And now the next important point is that we're going to upload a CSV file. And again, the CSV file should be formatted this way. And so we're going to have these headers. So let's quickly take a look at our CSV file. And this comes from our GPS coordinates. And you'll notice that we have label, type, and again, ground control points, our eastings, our northings, and our elevation. Now, in this case, I didn't include the measurement of error, but that could be there as well. So now we're going to upload the file. I'm going to click Upload File. And again, I am going to select on my desktop. We have a file called Lake Ground Control Points. And we 
we'll go back to that one and again download that please and you'll see it's called this and again I have it on my desktop and again you'll notice that it it gives you very quickly four ground control points here they are and then what you need from this is the projection characteristics. Now what we have in this case, we're going to not have one. I'm going to show you why we're doing that right now. Now again, notice that if you do not have it, it says you can download the PRJ file of your coordinate system at EPSIG or search the coordinate system by entering the name uh, code above. Now, the ESPG code is an important idea. And again, I want to note that you can Google that. And what I did, this is, I, I know that for ours, it is UTM zone 17 North and we're using WGS 84 standard. You'll notice here when I Google that, what we get is our code 32617. So what I can do with that now, if I take that code, and again, please note, when you are taught about coordinate systems datums in our classes, we kind of give it light treatment. These are very specific characteristics in terms of how the data exists. And spatialreference.org is a very good site to get this information from. So again, we know that it's 32617. I'm going to go back to this and we can put that in. And you'll notice that it comes up right here. I'm going to select that. What is the size of our targets in centimeters? These are 100 centimeter targets. And now, once we've done that, so again, for yours, we're going to be using the EPSIG 32617, UTM Zone 17 North. We have uploaded our CSV file. We've set the size of our targets, and now we can click on process. You'll notice that it's going to take a little while for this to upload all of your data. Once it's up, you will get an email to this account that will tell you that your data is ready and that it can be downloaded. Once that has occurred, please forward me that email, and we will uh, we'll be looking at these next week. All right, that's it for the instructional video.